chance to take this corner now on the left-hand side in front of the ultras in the south stand. Packed stand tonight as well. Held up by Richie Towell. There's Sean Gannon. Chief league winner with just Shamrock Rovers, but Dundalk as well. It's a shot which McGinley has to deal with from Danny Mandrayo. He saw the whites of the goal. Back from Monday. One match suspension, I think. Yeah, you see teams like that come back so late in the game, 2-0 down, they've got fight about them, doesn't know how to do that, all these teams always do. Here's Lopez, captain the side tonight in the absence of Ronan Finn, who's on the bench. Gannon. Andreu, that's away from the defenders. Chance of an early goal! We're only four minutes in. And he gets his 11th goal of the season. 23 last week, Republic of Ireland under 21 international. And if there's any nerves out there, that will settle Rovers. Yeah, he took it really well, Danny Mandra. Poor defender from Finn Harps. It goes to two, two or three players, centre halves. It's a long ball, speculative, but into his feet. Takes a great touch. Round the goalkeeper comes out. Calm head, finishing it into net. Great finish from Danny Mandrew, but Finn Hart should deal with that better. Too many players around not dealing with standing watching the ball, but he still has a lot to do and he does it really well. Skips around the goalkeeper and plants at home. What a start for me. Last season's all a bit surreal. It's the support staff and uh, Paddy Smith, I'm hearing, has scored for St. Pat's. At Longford already relegated. That was a 7 30 kickoff. So Manny Smith scored last week, actually. He's got another two and two now for him. Left his head on. Boyle. Oh, gotta be careful here. Boyle was just waiting for his keeper, McGinley, who obviously gave him a shout. Gaffney picks it up. Here's Richie Towell. Perhaps some reorganizing to do. That was sloppy. What's a good tackle by Rainey, but perhaps got away with one there. Absolutely, it's poor communication. Rise of shoot. And his near post. McGinley makes the save. He yeah, has a mix up of the work. Irish international scored last week against Longford. Gary O'Neill and then a couple of academy players as well, which Stephen Bradley has been using on and off. On the top is Gaffney. Still Gaffney. It's open up from Gaffney. That's a good block by McElhenney. It just wouldn't give it up. It just completely opened up for Gaffney. Webster's in the middle of that. <laughs> Yeah, it's good defending from Webster, got himself into that near post there, the Arsenal sent centre half on that side of the pitch. Make sure you don't get beaten at the near post from the cross, and he did, and he did really well. Uh, header into the bottom corner, and Andre has got his second. It's a, great, it's a great goal, it's a brilliant play. When he wins it tonight, should I say, at the moment, but he's been some serving, but what a player as well, fantastic player. Oh, Boyle, oh dear. Oh, good save, McGinley from Perugia. Put yeah. the gap very well, and good stop. Yeah, he should have headlines Perugia that time, but poor play again from Harps at the back. Yeah, long-term hamstring injury problems for Perugia. And just really back in the side. Watts, and that's header at the back post. Chipped back in again by McCann, and he's got himself a corner. Second consecutive one. Joy. You don't get many times to enjoy games, but you're winning league titles. Brilliant if you can sit there, two or three goals up. And enjoy the occasion once again into the mix. This towel and the cries of shoot and side footed straight to McGinley, who's been obviously the busier of the two keepers tonight. Appearance for the visitors. Good corners from Watts as well. He's just testing out the defense, beating the first man at the near post and trying to get the big defenders at the back. Technically, he's very good on the ball, Dylan Watts. Like I said, he's had a good season for Rovers this year when he's been in the team. He used the ball really well. Great range of passing. Gets forward as well. And like I say, his set-piece delivery is quite good. Here's Towell. Lovely touch from Richie Towell. Ferruja. Gaffney. Lovely touch from Gaffney. Brilliant Gaffney. Oh, what a good save. Diving away to his left-hand side by McGinley, but that was brilliant. Ball there, and it slipped out of his hands. A perfect example of that is Ryan Rainey, the 25-year-old. He actually won two All-Irelands at school when Lee Horgan was teaching there as well, so just shows you where he can dig them out from. I do. You, you see him at all games, like you say, school games, schoolboy games. You see him at everything. Well, he's all over the country. Rain has stopped again. 
football. Towel. McHale works to dry out. There's McCann. That's a lovely ball by McCann. It's on dry out. Claims for offside, not given. Gannon. Aim up, one was Gaffney. A fall for Towel. Nice reverse ball from Towel. Here's Watts. Yeah, showboat now rovers only a great little touch from Richie Free. And he's gonna take now from his left hand side. Try to put the Shaman Grover's defense under pressure. Headed away by McCann. Here's Connolly. He's just waiting on it to come down and Richie Tells back pedal and maybe just puts him off a little look in all season. Rovers team, the experience they have on the side, they've got a lot of senior pros. Here goes Gannon into Gaffney. Oh, cleared away by Boyle. Straight to Watts. Sudden injection of pace by Gannon. Perugia. Andreu. Beaten away by McGinley. And then hacked out of the play. Now it's all McElhenney. Lomford for St. Pat's in the 91st minute, so he got a goal last week, and now three tonight. He's in good goal scoring form. St. Pat's are building something very nice up in Inchicore, cementing their place in second place and already through to the cup final as well. Works ball. Gannon looking for it on this right hand side. Burke. Exchange of pass between himself and Green. It's opened up nicely. Oh, on the far side. He just couldn't roll the ball to the far side. And he missed. Yeah, it's, it's good. good. He'd be able to take that in the volley like he tried to do the book there. And Gannon, he could have taken a touch, but he knows himself he's got that in his locker to be able to hit the first time, but didn't get real connection on the ball. Nomads of Shamrock Rovers pitched their tent in Talla back in 2009. They've been here ever since, and now they're on the cusp of their second consecutive league title. Work. He's given them a little spark since he's come in, hasn't he? Bought that one in behind the reverse pass. No trophy presentation tonight, just to remind you. They will be crowned champions in the next six minutes or so. It's out of time, Shamrock Rovers. Presentation of the trophy at the end of the season. It's not a bad effort from the substitute. In a coup, tracking across the line, three defenders, missed by much. Contribution to the game is, is being pivotal. You know, that first half performance for him I thought was, was excellent. He was all over the, the pitch, his passing was really good, as well as Dylan Watts for his two goals, brilliant finishes. And Danny Mandreau is my SSC electricity man of the match. And we're going to get another third goal, and the celebration can now start. Ekmanu around the goalkeeper, rather like Mandreau did in the first half, and just as you were picking Mandreau as the man of the match. In the 88th minute, the substitute makes it 3 0. Yeah, it was a great little ball, wasn't it? A straight ball down down the side. And he does really well. Maki, we, he's clever and he, and, he, and he waits for the keeper. What he did in the Bowes game here at Stray Adam probably took two. But this time he does well. He shifts it away and he finishes it. And Deloitte for him, he's, he's chuffed because he, he, he would have known in the game against Bowes. It was a big opportunity for him, but he takes that one really well. Well done to the young man. Broad smiles. Oh. At this time of the game. Yeah, what are you doing to me, man? Oh, that's a mistake. A chance for the young son. Oh, just trying to put it around the goalkeeper. And spread himself well, McGinley, there from 
Yeah. It should have scored. It'd be great to see him stick it away. It wasn't it two young subs that come on, get, get a goal each, but we can get a better opportunity than that to break away again. Robert Healy goes again. This time, can he score? Oh, oh. good stop. You know, he just tried to bend it into the far corner. 